Musical Markov Chains. First, what is a Markov chain? One definition of a Markov chain is it's a model describing some process where what happens next depends only on the current state of affairs. In analysis of a melody, I'm going to represent that in Python code by saying that Markov dictionary at the key current note is equal to a list of possible notes. And I'll generate a random melody by jumping from note to note. That will make a randomized melody. But where is the input data going to come from? I'm going to use an input melody that I played on my keyboard, and it sounds like this at the beginning. And it goes on a little bit more. It's pretty simple. Okay, that's enough to give an idea of it. I took that melody from Sonic Pi, which is this program. I put it into PyCharm, and I imported random because I'm going to be making random selections. So here's the list. I can scroll down through it. Here's that Markov dictionary I mentioned. It's a dictionary. And I'm now going to populate that dictionary in the following way. Uh, let's close the run window. Actually, let's use it to be just the right size. For i in range of the length of the input melody minus 1, what's the input melody? It's just this list. Current note is equal to the input melody at i. Next note is equal to the input melody at i plus 1. And if current note is not in the keys of the Markov dictionary, then the Markov dictionary at current note is equal to a list containing next note. Otherwise, Markov dictionary at current note, which is a list, we take that and we append next note to that list. We can print the Markov dictionary, and I'll run this now. Scroll this up. It's this here. So 60 can go to 62, 64, 64, or 62. Meanwhile, 64 can go to any number of these notes. Once I've made the dictionary, it's time to generate the output melody. That starts as an empty list. I, I initialize current note as random.choice from a list of the keys of the Markov dictionary. And then for i in range, let's only go to 35 this time. Output melody dot append current note, and current note equals a random choice taken from Markov dictionary at current note. Now remember, I defined that Markov dictionary at current note equals the list of possible notes. So we're jumping to the next one of the next possible notes. Finally, we print the output melody. Let's run that. We get an output list, which I'm going to take back to Sonic Pi in another code window that I've prepared. Make this a little bigger. And let's run this. So in conclusion, there you have musical Markov chains using Python and Sonic Pi and some basic little, oh, it's not playing. Um, okay, time to end the video. Thanks for watching.